Hey, good evening, YouTube. It's Sunday night. Check it out. Uh, picked up this uh, Sharp P E C H A A Pecha Pecha H R seven zero E. It's a kerosene heater, and uh, if you're into it, stick around and let's see if we can get this thing fired up. I got this from uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Chase. He just gave gift it to me and uh, I'm gonna get her going and look I've got directions so let's see what happens come on all right so first of all I'm gonna get rid of this beautiful box HSR 70e it's in really good shape it's got all the packing material in there and I've unloaded this base Look, it's got a little ergonomic funnel for it. I'll show you that here in a second. And this base has two, two slip-ins, and it looks like it's got two thumb screws here. And if I had to guess, these would slip underneath. And let's see. There we go. And these thumb screws would go in here to hold it in place. Let me get that done for you. All right, we got that uh, taken care of. Look at this beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can, what do we got here to open up this? There we go, we'll swing out gate. I'm gonna clean that up in there. And down here around the tank. Now ah, that reflective really cleaned up nice. This uh, this mechanism is interesting. I imagine this is the no, it's the burner, and this was on the top to hold that in place. And this had this screen here, so that's what that looks like on the inside, on the top. And the screen and then we had this keeper on the top so let me keep cleaning here because my OCD is kicking in and I'll be right back all right so the first thing I noticed uh, getting in behind here is that looks like the battery cover uh, probably for the igniter is missing back here it looks like it would normally take two C batteries right there. Let me see if I can find two C's and let's see what happens. All right. A little bit of uh, really, really fine steel wool clean this, this device up here. I got a feeling like this is probably gonna be the safety, maybe, maybe to shut it off. But that cleaned up real nice. Let me see, oh, I, got, I was gonna get those batteries. All right, they're actually D batteries. And I had some uh, yard sale energizers <laughs> that I picked up. I don't know what dates, uh, what date they are. I have about a 50, 50 chance that they're gonna be any good. So let's flip this around and see what we got. We got her all cleaned up. Put this fuel cap back on. And besides a little bit of right there is a little bit of the orange paint uh, chipping away a little bit but besides that it's in really good shape so open this back boy up put this back on oh Clean this ring up. All right. There we have it. I like this. Now let's see. 
Okay, so I can see what happens here. This lifts up some uh, this lever. Let me get you in here closer. This lever, this little lever right here, is going to lift something up, and then the igniter there. You don't see the igniter uh, heating up the coil. So those batteries could be bad. It's getting hot. Maybe it's like a little light bulb with a uh, spring in between the two elements. It looks like it would be perfectly fine. There's a spare in here. Let's see if the spare looks any different. Well, let's just put it in. It's either the, it's either the striker or the batteries. Oh yeah, it's the, it, it's gonna it's gonna. It's tricky. You had to take the batteries out because the thing was getting hot. So this lever, you push that up. And look at, there's the glow. See that coil? Nice. So I'm guessing that this is going to have to go well, forward, right? I mean, I didn't pay attention to where, how that came off. Is it just set on here? Let me read the directions. All right, so this is interesting. I, uh, I'm going to raise the... I'm wondering if this uh, wick is about spent. There it is. There it goes. Let me uh, give you a, a view of this. So here's the adjuster, of course, but uh, I'm going to turn this up. There we go. It was just sticky. There we go. And then uh, I think that's supposed to light it. I'm gonna give it a little little help. There we go. And then uh, this just goes, it just sits on there. Snuff it out? No. Yeah, that just sits on there. It's funny, when this, when this is lifted up, it just knocks it over, boom, lights it. So let's give this a... Now it shows, I think this is actually supposed to come off readily. Because it shows here, no, it shows up through the cap. So we need to put this back on. And there shouldn't be any flame coming out of this. This should just turn into a red glow up here. So let's see what happens here. However, I think I'm going to lower this like that. Let's give it a second to warm up. Remember that spring that went around? That spring, okay, look at this. You can really start to see everything get red on the top now. That's that's according to the directions here. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see flame coming out of the top. And you don't want to just see the spring hot. You want to see the whole dome hot. And that's what's happening here. So I think we're getting it. And then you see there's a little flame there, so I'm going to back that off. There we go. I think that's I think that's what we want. And I wonder if I can get this. The shoot in here. So 600, 700, 700 degrees right now. 
Okay, <laughs> I could not be happier with that flame. That is absolutely beautiful. This is a stunning heater. Okay, let me back out here a little bit. Look at that bad boy go. What we have here, um, if you're just coming in late here, Sharp HSR 70E. And I have the directions here, and I'm not getting rid of this, this heater. So if anybody needs a copy of it, let me know, and I'll uh, put it in the mail. But uh, I appreciate everybody uh, doing the light up. Uh, thank you, Chase, for the, uh, the excellent, excellent heater. And uh, I want everybody to have a great week next week, okay? And be safe. Thanks for stopping by.